yakisoba, Japanese fried noodles. And we've got a chicken recipe today. It's delicious. It's a favorite of the family. We're gonna jump right into the ingredients. But before that, welcome to my channel. I'm Benji Travis. Hit like if you love noodles. Comment below, have you had this before? And subscribe if you want new recipes. We're gonna get right into cooking. But first, let's see what the ingredients are. Chicken, minced ginger, we've got some minced garlic, sliced up carrots, nice and thin, sliced onions, always gotta have cabbage with yakisoba, packaged noodles. Now you can use fresh noodles, but the reason I'm using packaged is because that's what I grew up with, and you can get this on Amazon. I'll put the link down below. You do get a little flavor packet, but if you can't get that, you can use ramen noodles, and I'll put the recipe for your own yakisoba sauce down below in the info box. Green onions, beni shoga, which is basically pickled ginger. This is what we're gonna put on last to make this taste delicious. And guess what? Without further ado, let's start cooking this bad boy. First thing we do is get our pan nice and hot. I'm using a large frying pan. Get your oil in there and what you're gonna do first is toss in your ginger and garlic. Let that simmer for about 30 seconds. Then you're gonna throw your chicken in. What you're gonna try to do is get a golden brown color on the edges, but not quite cook it all the way through. Once that's about halfway cooked, you're gonna add your carrots and your onions and go ahead and cook all those ingredients up for about a minute. At this point, you're really close to getting your noodles in there. We're gonna first toss in our cabbage into the ingredients and let that cook for about one more minute. I'm actually gonna salt and pepper to give it additional flavor. Add about a third a cup of water cover it and let it steam. That steaming is gonna actually cook through all the ingredients, including the chicken, and it's gonna soften that cabbage a little bit. Get that all removed and separated into its own individual bowl. If you are using the packaged stuff, throw your noodles in there, break it apart, get it nice and soft, and right at the end, you're gonna add your flavor packets. Now, if you're using fresh noodles, you don't even have to remove the ingredients, just toss your fresh noodles in there and start stir frying. At this point, add your homemade yakisoba sauce and it's done and good to go. Ooh, the girls are gonna love this. Mmm, mmm. Chicken yakisoba, this is amazing. It's so delicious, the girls love it. I always make a spicy version for me and Judy, non-spicy for the girls. You guys have to totally try this. If you guys love yakisoba, you're gonna love this easy recipe. Comment below when you're gonna make this for your family. Subscribe for more recipe videos. Click or tap the screen if you guys wanna see all of my recipes. Click or tap the screen right here to see my vlogs where I cook for my family. I love food. I hope you cook something delicious today. Gonna eat some more yakisoba. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm.